back to my brown physio i am neha singh and i make videos on all about physiotherapy so if you are new to this channel do consider subscribing so today in this video i'm going to talk about how to prepare for the second year bachelor's of physiotherapy examination i have already made a separate video on which other books to refer in second year and also i have made a separate video on important topic for each and every particular subject i will put all the video link in the description to check it out so let's start so in my second year i had total of 6 subjects those are exercise therapy electrotherapy kinesiology bmp that is biomedical physics pharmacology pathology and microbiology so let's start do not mind if in the video at times i do look down as i have made pointers for you guys so that i can talk about in detail and uh, i can let you know so that uh, it will be very easy for you to study and you can score well in your second year so let's start with our first subject that is biomechanics and kinesiology for this subject we have to refer ck not in stacks book that is for joint structure and function so for the first three chapter uh, i have studied from the stone physio youtube channel and i would suggest you the same and uh, to study each and every joint in detail you can uh, refer movement science youtube channel it has been explained in a very nice way so let's move on to our second subject that is bmp biomedical physics we have to refer ashish kakkar textbook in bmp it's all basic uh, theoretical physics which we have studied in 9th standard 10th standard 11th standard and 12th standard we do not have any single numerical questions it's all related to gravity uh, magnetism then uh, electrical uh, currents and all uh, it is very basic and easy i do not think so anybody would uh, require any more reference than the that ashish kakkar textbook itself the content is very nice and uh, in a very simplified manner let's move on to our third subject that is uh, exercise therapy and electrotherapy i would uh, love to talk about these two subjects in a combined manner as uh, these subjects are the main subjects in the physiotherapy uh, it's better to focus in the class and study from textbook itself also i have referred uh, the physiopedia website and the physio tutor youtube channel for many practical uh, Uh, subject for practical based topics i'm going to make a separate video after this uh, on how to prepare for uh, practical and viva uh, or for the second year physiotherapy subjects that is exercise therapy and electrotherapy Now let's start uh, with the external subject that is fourth subject for this video that is pharmacology it is very important at times we do think like why pharmacology is important being a physio student as we do not uh, refer or suggest the medicine to the patient but it is important to, to know what is the mechanism or what is the mode of action or what happens after uh, the medicine intake what it does in the body of the patient so that we can suggest or give uh, ex exercise accordingly so uh, it is the subject of drugs and medicine uh, as you open the textbook uh, first important topic in rules of drug administration and the pharmacokinetics for pharmacology you have to refer uh, the textbook of pharmacology for the physiotherapy students itself uh, by padmaja uday kumar in this textbook uh, it is given uh, condition wise for example drug use in myocardial infarction um, what are the drugs for musculoskeletal the drugs for the cardiac failure then what are the sedative drugs and many more in pharmacology exam whenever it is asked uh, to write about a particular drug used in a particular condition then you have to write about the drug which all condition it is used in the classification what is the uh, route of administration of that drug whether it can be given via injection via uh, topical or the tablet form then uh, what is the mechanism of action this is the mean like what is the action of that drug in the body then its uses advantage advantages and disadvantages then uh, what uh, should be the precaution or the contraindications for that drug and the risk factor now let's move on to our next subject that is pathology and microbiology before uh, speaking anything more about these subjects let me uh, let you know that uh, kindly do patho micro and pharmaco very nicely because these are the subjects which gonna help you even in your third year to study well as uh, in third year you have to study uh, medicine and a few more subjects in which you have to mention the uh, pharmaco and uh, then also the pathology etiology so you 
have to be clear with your basics so study well in second year so that we it will be easy in third year so now let's get back to our topic uh, which we were discussing about the patho and micro subjects so in uh, pathology uh, there is general patho and systemic patho focus on both students do make a mistake of focusing more on general patho but the question asked in exams are equal and systemic patho is as important as uh, of general patho uh, so uh, for me i felt that general pathology is a hard subject to understand and to remember uh, but for some students uh, patho might be easy and pharmaco they felt it is hard uh, if you will ask me how i did prepare i feel so the harsh mohan for mpbs student uh, of that uh, summary revised small books usually do come with that book uh, it is the best book to study for the exams and then i also used to watch the youtube vi- youtube videos uh, then i used to read my textbook of uh, then ppts and then lastly i used to make notes and uh, if you are asked uh, how to write an answer for the uh, pathology in the exam then first you have to write the definition uh, its classification etiology clinical feature its uh, what are the investigations then uh, the complication and lastly the pharmacological drugs then for microbiology you have to study about uh, the ph- morphology of the bacteria its uh, cultural characteristics then uh, biomechanical reactions then what are the classification the lab diagnosis then the what are the resistance and pathogenicity and the variations that's it for this video i hope it might help you if you do have any question or queries do comment down below in the comment section or you can dm me over on instagram i have posted uh, every subject book pdf and uh, chapters ppt in my telegram group do check it out so i will see you in my next video by that time do take care bye bye